have saved companies thousands of dollars on their Databricks jobs and all it took was a few settings changes. Once you've written your code and you want to schedule it, you have to choose what compute to use. And if you get it wrong, boy, can it be expensive. I've seen people default to the cluster they've been developing on. It can be nearly twice the price as jobs compute. To set up jobs compute, I'm going to head to my workflow task and under cluster, select add new jobs cluster. From here, I can configure it just like my original one. Now what I sometimes hear is, but I have 10 tasks. Does that mean I'm gonna have to wait for and pay for 10 different clusters to spin up? And the answer is not quite. With workflows, you can reuse these job clusters. Here in my second task, I'm going to reuse this cluster that got used for the first task. So now I don't have to wait for it to spin up again. I ran this earlier without cluster reuse and it took about three minutes to complete because I was setting up a brand and new cluster but by reusing an existing one it took literally seconds what if you have different needs throughout your pipeline if you want you can reuse different types of clusters in my example of the first two tasks run best on a memory optimized cluster but the next two ran best on storage optimized ones and i can mix and match if you're not using jobs compute now i really recommend you try it out and save yourself a bunch of money if you like databricks and want to see what else is hot on data and ai follow me for more